So we're out uh, fishing the secret lake. It was pretty warm this day, so there's all sorts of slush on top of the ice. But you can still see we're getting quite a bit of light through. Uh, this area had some winter kill going on. Uh, this lake might not have been winter killed, but it looked really weird. It's like the water was striated. Another nice big old blue bluegill here, but he ain't having none of it. Got a high red coming in. Nope, missed him. Pulled the red out of his mouth. Gonna come check out the camera. Oh, now he's back to the jig. Missed him again. And, oh, wow. That's a pretty big bass for northern Minnesota. He's gonna try it a third time. Nope, pulled it away from him. Oh, he's interested. Nope, it's gonna turn away. Let's try our next fish. Sees it going in, going in. So stare at it for a while. And they don't want it. And there comes another one looking interested. It's a nice big mature bluegill. And it's gonna turn away. Go on to somebody else's bait. No, no, it's coming back. I'll check it out again. Come on, bite it. Oop, nipped it. Just a nip. Nip it a third time. Oh, I missed him. It's too slow. I'm still hanging around. No? Yeah, no? No, I guess it's not fun anymore. It's gonna wander off. It's a nice, mature looking bluegill though. You see that tab on his ear is really big. It's got that lump on its shoulder, forehead area. So yeah, like I said, some of the lakes in this area had been getting winter kill and the fish were pretty slow in this lake even though it was a really nice day out and we were getting some melting. Uh, hopefully it didn't winter kill at all. I uh, got some perch bringing in some action. Maybe they'll bring on the competition. Oh, crappie coming in. Wow, she smacked that. Spit it out though. Didn't hook him in time. Oh, there's quite a few fish here. Usually when they all get together like this, they get more aggressive, trying to take it away from the other fish before they can get it. Oh, it's gonna stare at it. There comes a couple more crappies in. A nice looking fish. I'll throw the bluegill into the action. The, this particular lake, I think it's uh, it's a glacial lake, but it's made out of a glacial pothole rather than like a score hole. So this area that we're fishing is pretty close to the glacial Agassiz beach. So like glacier moved south and pushed up all this sand and gravel. And uh, I think some chunks of the glacier might've broke off, got buried. And like when it melted, it left these pothole or puck type lakes. I'm pretty sure that's what is going on with this one. Well, I got two different species staring at my bait and neither of them want it. Nope, just gonna drift off. Oh, here comes a guy for close up. The camera's got a red LED light on it, so sometimes fish come up and peck at that. And there's coming back to pick at the light. And he don't give a damn about my bait back there. Not what that guy does. So they all run up to it. 
and I stare at it. If I was smart, I probably would have switched to a smaller jig. A little uh, Marmuska Ice Fly, but I kept thinking, oh, they'll get more aggressive as we get towards dark, but they never really did. Looks like that one was probably a hybrid. That's a big old fat perch. Uh, this one's, can't tell if that's a bluegill or a hybrid. When they're hybrid, they have a outline that's orange colored on their ear tab. Uh, that's definitely a hybrid. Uh, as opposed to the bluegills where their ear tab is like solid black. Or a pumpkin seed where the ear tab is black with a little bit of red tab on it. It's coming in for a close-up, but we didn't catch this guy.